Hello, my name is Ben Whirling, and I'm the West Michigan Vegetable Educator for Michigan State University. In this video, we'll introduce onion thrips biology, identification, and damage. We'll also learn how to scout for them, use treatment thresholds, and discuss treatment options. Onion thrips are the most important insect pest of onions in the Great Lakes region. This insect causes significant economic losses by reducing yields up to 60%. Damage to young onions is more devastating than on larger plants late in the growing season. The most critical time to protect onions from thrips is during the bulbing stage. Onion thrips are among the smallest insects but can still be seen with the naked eye. Here is a view through a stereo microscope of thrips in different life stages. Typically adults are dark and the younger thrips are, the lighter they are. Adults have wings and nymphs are wingless. Adults and nymphs use their single sword-like mandible to rupture plant cells on the outer surface of leaves and other plant parts. They then suck out the contents of the cells by pressing their mouth parts onto the damaged surface. At first, damaged leaves turn silvery, but with continued severe damage, the leaves completely dry out hampering photosynthesis and ultimately reducing plant growth and yield. In the next part of the video, you'll learn how to look for this insect in onions and use thresholds for deciding when an intervention is necessary to reduce their numbers. To look for thrips in onions, check the crevices at the base of the leaves by pulling back the leaves. When pulling apart the leaves, thrips move around, so despite their small size they are still visible. After checking between all the leaves, check further up on the leaves as well to make sure you have counted all the thrips on the plant. When scouting for onion thrips, count thrips on five plants at ten different locations distributed throughout a field. In your notebook, record both the number of thrips and the number of leaves that you count on each plant. When you are done counting, add up the thrips numbers and divide by 50 to calculate the average number of thrips per plant. Do the same for leaf numbers. Divide the total number of leaves by the number of plants you checked, in this case, 50. Now, in order to calculate the average number of thrips per leaf, divide the average number of thrips, in this example 9.16, by the average number of leaves per plant, in this case 7.04. In our example, we find that plants have an average of 1.3 thrips per leaf. When using insecticides to control onion thrips, the threshold for treatment is 1 thrips per leaf for all currently registered insecticides except for radiant, where the threshold is 3 thrips per leaf. When onion thrips numbers in an onion field increase above threshold, an insecticide application may be needed to control their population. Insecticides are lethal to most, but not all thrips and those that survive are able to pass on the genes that confer resistance to their offspring. If a lot of insecticide-resistant thrips are left in a field, the insecticide they have become resistant to won't kill the thrips. This is why rotating between different classes of insecticides during a growing season is important. In the illustration, an insecticide is applied twice consecutively during the growing season. It is best to use one product consecutively two times and avoid spacing the applications of the same product further apart during the season. The rationale for this has to do with how insecticide resistance evolves in onion thrips. An onion thrips generation spans about two to three weeks under typical growing conditions. If one product is used consecutively one week apart, this will limit the number of generations that will be selected for resistance so that at most, two generations will be selected. In contrast, if a product is applied twice during the season and applications spaced three to five weeks apart, at least two and perhaps as many as four generations could be selected for insecticide resistance. By changing the type of insecticide applied every two weeks, you change the way you kill insects. In this way, you can reduce the chances that thrips will become resistant to any one class of insecticides.